Hello, today is January 12th and these are the asparagus I planted. Oh gosh, I put the tag in like this. Oh no, that's not, I guess I didn't put all the tags in a few months ago and they're finally dying. So I'm going to cut them. Eventually they're going to go underground. And this lemon balm is dying. So I'm going to cut it off. Cut it to the ground maybe. Because there's some new leaves coming out at the bottom. This mint is still doing good. The lemon tree is still doing good. Look at them. Um, but we're expecting some cold front next week, so I'm going to cover all of them in this weekend. So these seedlings that I've been showing for, I showed it last time and I was going to transplant, but I got distracted by something. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to clean up this green stalk that... Well, the, the strawberry plant, that one remaining strawberry plant is doing okay. Um, still growing more fruit and flower. Parsley, some of them are yellowing, so I need to cut it. The cilantro is doing fine. Um, so spinach, they're growing. I should start harvesting some of them. The bok choy is also kind of yellowing. Some of them, old ones are dying. So I need to clean that up. The, oh, the lettuce started to fold. So I need to get that taken care of. And you see all of these bok choy um, bolted. And the eggplant, I think they're on their last leg. So before I cover these up for the freeze that's coming or just cold front I don't know if it's freeze I'll take take them cut them off cut them to the um, low level although this one it's already flowering again and today it's 71 degree I think it's gonna get to like 38 or something in a few days um, and then this is interesting because this carrot that's uh, atomic red it's not doing much because it's not getting too much sun there this one i mean i guess it's also different variety this one it's doing much better it's still not all the way out but you see some something happening it's about to come out these ones rainbow mix it's still growing this golden bead I don't think it's becoming anything, um, but we'll see. And this radish parks something, it's coming out. I should harvest it. I think this is just weed. I'm gonna look it up later, but I think it's just weed. Um, these beads don't, they're not coming out. So let me just pull one out. Sorry, I'm not really showing it, um, these beads. Let me pull one out, because it's not really pushing out anything. They're really close together. So if you pull out, yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing here yet. So I don't know if it's just not time yet. It may just not be time. I'm just gonna leave it here for a while. All the beads. And these eggplants are getting more flowers flowers forming so I'll just cover them up later um, this radishes they're getting big look at it I don't know if you can yeah look at it it's getting bigger so maybe I'll leave it there um, these are the ones I harvested last time a little bit and they're still growing Gave, I tried to give them some rooms. So they're still growing. Yeah, so that's what's happening with the green stock. I'm gonna clean this up today for real. Um, 
And then we go here. There's, I think one, there's still a few zucchinis here. So I'm gonna clean this up. I'll need to cover this. The spinach here is not doing too good. Um, so overall, the, what do you call it? Xenia. Xenia is doing fine. I still need to clean that up. These broccoli, they are growing. Let me see if there's, there's no like broccoli head forming yet, but they're growing as a green for now, but they're growing not as fast as I thought they would. So I'm gonna um, put some, I'm gonna fertilize them today. I think this bed might need some fertilization. So that's what I'm gonna do. I was walking around earlier and pulled out a couple old um, zucchini plants here. And I'll also pull out those zucchini plants out. The tomatoes, they're really growing. Some of them got pulled out. Um, oops, sorry, here, some of them got pulled out. There's some ripening. I think they're it rained a lot, um, a lot few days ago. So I think they're doing fine, although this one is empty. I'll fill that up. I'm gonna clean these leaves. Oh, there's some nice tomato in here. In here, you can see. So I'll harvest that. I don't know what that one has some spots on it. But the exciting one is the sun gold is coming out. Sun gold. It's really yummy. I'm gonna. This one looks right. I'm gonna taste that. Mmm. Really good. This one. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh yeah, I see some flower coming up. So it's good. More eggplants. More eggplants there. And here we have more broccoli. Oh, that was a good tomato. Um, they're still growing, not as fast as I want. And there's more patty pan that it's not doing too good. So I'm just gonna take it out because um, soon it's gonna be summer here or spring here. So I'm getting this bit sort of ready for the spring. I'm gonna, in a couple days, I'm also going to plant some, start some seedlings. I was actually looking at this, this pea. I've never grown pea before and the flower is so beautiful. Um, I don't know, I might need to stake this. There's another patty pan I'm gonna pull out. Let's see. I don't think I did a good job pulling out. Uh, more broccoli. Um, I don't know why there's sugar snap peas. Hang on. Yeah, the zinnia. And here, the lettuce I planted months ago. I don't know why it takes so long for these to grow. And something's definitely here because this was in here broccoli rot and it was on the floor or something's pulling it out and just taking it out I don't know why this uh, Asian green 70d I think it's improved 70d it has that yellow flowers you can also eat the flowers it actually makes a good omelet good to put it in an omelet or I put I said omelet but basically um, the scrambled eggs and it makes it interesting so that's what I'm gonna do but it's still not growing as fast I need to really fertilize it um, yeah I think I might let it might be time to let go of this thing yeah although I see this little bud coming out but it's a little unwieldy so I'm gonna pull this out today my lettuce patch lettuce cabbage patch they're doing well Arugula. I think this is arugula. 
almost looks like weed they're doing so well i don't know why this mini romaine blend is not really growing i'm being really it's called mini but it's too many and there's some weeds growing here and over the edge there so i'll clean that up and yeah and i'll eat some salad you can see that i'm not eating too much salad as i planned when i planted all of these so that's what i'm gonna do today all right i'll see you on the other side all right before we go to after part of the video i keep referring to this as kale these are actually collards not kale I think I got a little confused because of all the curly leaves here. Oh, these are actually kale. Good. These are actually kale. These are collards. Uh, cash collards. So there's a difference. Um, two different ones and the ones I planted, which I'm going to show later in the video. These are also collards. All right. Sorry about the mix up. All right, so we made some progress here. So these greens are all cleaned up. I, uh, all the yellow ones are gone, or most of them. Now that I look at it, I see like some yellowish, uh, more light greenish parsley still left here. Right, that looks better. All the yellow leaves are gone. So they look much healthier. Also this one, I was going to cut that flowers, but I saw some bees buzzing around and um, there are not that many flowers I gather. So I'm just leaving them there. I cut the ones on that side. There were some um, flowers, yellow flowers coming out that way right up parsley and I cut that one but these ones I left here and then I yeah I rotated them so the ones that one was not growing that well that carrot was not growing too much um, compared to the other ones that's on this side which was facing the Sun this is the, the right now this is the Sun side so I rotated a little bit same with here and I didn't make too much progress with transplanting but I transplanted this to kale here because I ran out of the room here I think this is might be too close but there are a lot of them so I probably eat a lot of baby kales I will eat a lot of baby kales so I planted them here that came from six pack I over so so there are a lot of the I think there were four or five in each each cell so there are a lot of kale to plant so they're all transplanted here and I cut the zinnia a little bit you can see some of the cuttings here so that they were not as tall and leggy and I pulled out the, some of the zucchini plants. This one, I cut some leaves and put them up so that they can grow up so they're not covering all the spinach over there, which was covered by very large leaves from zucchini plants. Um, and you see that the, some of the waters are not quite, it's a little yellowish brown because I put some of the Vermistera warm tea. I um, diluted it and then I gave a good good shower of the warm tea, diluted warm tea on this and also this bed. And I also filled up the Oya over there. There are two in each bed, so I filled them up. Um, see, these. I cut this zinnia to all the way here. I was going to pull it out, but I see some small um, 
one small leaves coming out so I want to see if that will grow to the full zinnia plant so I left them there and yeah the letters the three months old letters I don't know why it's taking so long and some broccoli I pulled out the dragon beans if you see two one two that I pulled out and the peas got staked because it was getting a little unruly so it's staked so it will grow up i don't know how tall they're gonna get i'll do some research on it later and there's the broccoli and they all got good warm good shower of warm tea i didn't touch this side they're still the same as earlier beautiful lettuce but i'm so proud of it and this salad green mix it's growing really well um so yeah i think i'm gonna keep growing there um this is so beautiful it's red on the outside and green inside so i'm gonna cut it maybe tomorrow and make some salad and then if we go on that side didn't make too much difference Except that I planted this, transplanted this zinnia. Um, yeah, this, these are the first things that's covered here now. So there's some, I put it wrong. They are started like about two months ago, October 13th. So I should probably start the new ones to plant in March. Um, these are a little old though. So maybe I'll start at the end of January and beginning of February to plant in March, end of March. And these are uh, Queen Red Lime. It's a little old, I should probably cut this one. And then there's Zinnia Zindella Peach. I probably did the back front, huh? Because the Zindella, Cinderella, and they're both Cinderella. They're both a, a shorter variety. And I think my understanding is Queen Red lime is probably tall one so might have to change them i'll probably um switch them so that the so the shorter ones are in the front and that's and then i gave a um, good shower of worm tea and that's it for today and i have still so many left so many to transplant I have a lot of, oh, there's some Cosmos. I did it for fun. Uh, and why can't I remember the name of this flower? Nasturtium. And there's some pen, uh, Pansy Petunia. Sorry, and there's still some Kales left. More Nasturtium. Some Peas. More Petunia. Some Cabbage. And I don't know what that is and some lettuce what is this oh this is also petunia so i have a lot of petunia to transplant and there's some dusty miller because i'm thinking of doing more bouquet type um, they're growing so i got two types candy can they're both from johnny's uh selected seeds and i'm just wanting to see how different they are how differently they grow and we have the tango and green lake lettuce over there this is marvel of the seasons starfight here i only that one grow Ooh, red sail what is this one that didn't grow pensacola didn't grow at all i think it might need a little warmer maybe so i'll transplant those tomorrow hopefully so that's it for today. I'll see you on the next video. If you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button and like and share. And also make a comment on what you like, what you, what you don't like. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.